Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. La Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. This week we'll be meeting Andrew Howard, the owner of Booth and Howard store in Burnage in Manchester. They specialise in selling Irish produce. But first, about 12 years ago, Ernie Welsh bought the Old Star pub in Winsford, Cheshire. Since then, Ernie has worked extremely hard in developing the pub and his beautiful beer garden. Then about 18 months ago, the pub was burnt down. But Ernie and his staff have done a wonderful job in refurbishing the pub. Then Covid came along and the pub was closed for about 12 months. Now I'm delighted to say that the pub is open again and is doing really well with its beer garden and lovely food. But Ernie's had a health scare. Now we're going to be chatting to Ernie about his health and we're going to be playing some of his favourite songs from Clanna, Mary Duff I'm Paddy Riley. You only get a minute, better live while you're in it, cause it's gone in a blink. And the older I get, the truer it is. It's the people you love, not the money and stuff that make you rich. And if they Ernie, just over 12 months ago, your beautiful Old Star pub was burnt down. But I have to say you've done a wonderful job in refurbishing it. We certainly have. It, it, it's actually, uh, it'll be two years in August the 11th from that horrible, horrible night when it went up in, in, in flames, etc. And, and yeah, the, the job we've done uh, with a great team and many, many helpers. We, 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 we brought it back bigger and better than ever and we're so, so pleased with it. We've got this lovely balcony now for special occasions overlooking the Cheshire countryside. We've got a beautiful beer garden and, and yet yeah, we've, we've done it and we've come through lockdown and, and we're, we're ready to go. We've got the Euros with the football this summer. So we've got TVs all set up outside and hopefully we're going to have some nice British summer weather. And, and we're, as I say, yeah, we're really raring to go. And I believe you serve some lovely breakfast here every morning. We do. We have a, we have a, an outlet at the pub called Star Bites. I've got three great girls working in there. Kelly, Tina, Jill, and then there's, there's another one, uh, Julie, who's off at the moment, but there's, they're the great, the A-team, we call them. And uh, they deliver breakfast all over town. People come and eat in. Uh, we deliver for business lunches, buffets. 
we do funeral buffets, we do everything. And, and the latest thing that they're doing is the, Tina, one of the girls in the kitchen, she's come up with these homemade pies and they're absolutely fabulous. Cheese and onion, ham, leek and tomato, uh, steak and onion, meat and potato, and they're on a 10 inch traditional plate and they're absolutely flying out, everybody loves them. And of course you come through that trauma of the fire and the refurbishing and then we had COVID going on for over 12 months. Now you've had a little setback with your health. Oh yeah, we'll cut, let's say it's a minor setback, shall we? Let's have it right from the start, Martin. Yeah, um, one of the things that happened during, during this second lockdown from December, I, I, I decided to uh, take it easy and, and not have a drink because I always like my Guinness, always have a little drink most nights. And in December, I decided, no, we'll have a break. Um, so I had a break and then uh, go into the bathroom in the morning I noticed one morning, and I'm not being disrespectful, that normally it's deep black because of the Guinness, but because I've not been drinking Guinness, it, it, it was light coloured, and I thought to myself, is that blood in there? And I kept having a look each morning, and, and my wife, when I come downstairs, Mary, my wife would say, what have you been doing in that bathroom? You've been in there for hours. And I'd just shrug my shoulders and say nothing. And then one particular morning I looked and... Um, there was definitely fresh blood so uh, made an appointment straight away now this is the you must make your appointment straight away don't hesitate so I made my appointment with uh, Dr Fallon he's a good Galway man he supports Galway but I mean you know we all have our faults but he's got to be good he's a, he's a good doctor though so uh, he sent me straight off for a colonoscopy and um, straight away they, 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 they said yeah 95% sure you've got bowel cancer so then um, panic buttons get pressed and you think you the end of the world and and then you come into reality and you focus yourself, which I've done. And I've been for CT scans, MRI scans, and then I went up to Wigan for a, a thing called a PET scan. And then I had ultrasonics on my heart to make sure that that's in good condition and thankfully it is. Um, I've had meetings with the consultant, Miss Knockold, and um, I'm going in next Wednesday for um, an operation. They were going to try and do radiation on it, but because it's a bit bulky in the position of it, she's decided the best avenue to take is to remove this tumour. So uh, it's going to be hopefully done on keyhole surgery. It's going to... Um, they're going to cut the rectum away, basically, and, and hopefully be able to leave enough to refasten the bowel back up and I won't need a thing called a stoma bag which, which is um, quite normal after a bowel operation I might be able to get away with that if not I'll adapt and I'll have a stoma bag and get on with it but um, Miss Miss Knockold is very optimistic and I've got my mindset focused I've been they've, they've advised me to get myself in good condition so um, it's been tough but I've been going out most nights walking two or three miles and doing a then doing a 40 minute stint on my exercise bike i've been eating very very carefully and and, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling good and I'm, and I'm ready and i'm strong and i know that you've had lots of friends of course in your lovely messages and everything but mary duff is a great friend of yours she is mary duff and and, and steve milne who's the musical director he was a daniel's musical director as well uh, they've actually rang me up mary rang me up and uh, asked me all about it and uh, she she sings at uh, at a mass in Lobenstown every Sunday and uh, she she rang me last week and said that we're all saying our prayers for you in Lobenstown mass every week which is very nice of them and uh, she was most concerned because as I say we've been friends for probably 30 years now Hello there, this is Mary Duff here. I've just dropped by to talk to you about someone who's very special to me. His name is Ernie Welsh. He lives in Winsford in Cheshire uh, I first met Ernie way back in the early 90s when I came to do a show for him at the Winsford Football Club to raise money for them. And since then I've formed a great friendship that has lasted over 30 years. In that time we have visited many times and um, Ernie would take some of his friends and customers from his pub, The Rifleman, over to Ireland to my pub in County Meath, the Newtown Country Club. And we returned the favour many times. And then the more recent times we visited over at Ernie's current pub, uh, the Old Star in Winsford. 
Um, Ernie has promoted many shows for me in the past and he's a great promoter and indeed a great compare as well. And he's never short of a word or two to say, isn't that right, Ernie? Um, in particular, I suppose, a venue that he promoted for me was in um, St. Chad's Church in Winsford. And beautiful, beautiful venue and uh, some lovely memories made there. So look forward to doing that in the future, Ernie. Hint, hint. Um, Ernie is a man who, well, he gives up his time very freely to help others. Uh, he's a very positive man and when he puts his mind to something you can be sure it'll be it'll be done and it'll happen and uh, i just want to take this opportunity ernie to tell you that you have lots of people in your corner we're all rooting for you and looking forward very much to some many more great nights in the future keep or let ernie it's a working man i am and i've been down underground and i swear to god if I ever see the sun Or for any length of time I can hold it in my mind I never again will go down underground But of course, Erna, you've done so much down the years, and I've experienced this with you, that you've done so much fundraising for the hospice here in uh, Winsford, St. Abs Luke's Hospice yeah, here in Winsford. Absolutely. I cottoned on to that, basically, because it's, it's, a great, it's a great place, and, and my sister, she's just retired there. She was a carer there for 30 years, so... When Joyce first went in there, I, I got involved a bit, and, and over the years, as you say, we've we've done a lot for the hospice, but it, it it's it's good effort, you know what I mean, and it's well worth it, you know. Um, and the other th the other thing I must mention is that, that I've got um, a great family around me. I've got a really good wife, strong woman, who's there for me every minute of the day, and I've got my two daughters, Caroline and Kate, and my son Michael, and of course I've got grandchildren now, so you know I've got to get myself in good nick. For, for the running up and going wild with the grandchildren, haven't we? So, you know, there's so many positives that are going to outweigh the negatives and we're going to focus on the positives, you know? Yeah, and of course, um, not too many years ago, you cycled all the way over to County Mayo, climbed Crow Patrick and raised a lot of money. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We raised about 4,500 for a hospice in, in Mayo, the Mayo Roscommon Hospice, because I've got all my mum's family in Roscommon. And then over here, it was it, it finished up at f I think it was fourteen thousand for for St Luke's. So um, yeah, and that 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 was a great challenge. That at the time, that was seven years ago now when we did all that cycling and mountain climbing. But great team, and uh, who knows, I might have another go next year if I get myself back in good nick. Now we're going to take a little break. Don't go away. On our return, we'll be hearing the rest of Ernie's story. We'll be having a song from Paddy Riley, and we'll be meeting Andrew Howard from Booth and Howard store in Manchester. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial, and industrial build. Lala Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market including large hotel groups and small family-run business.
No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. Welcome back. This week we're telling you a story about Ernie Welch, who owns the Old Star Pub in Winsford, Cheshire. Ernie's had a real health scare. So we're going to be chatting to him now what it was like when he first heard the news that he was diagnosed with bowel cancer. When you're first told, it, it's strange. Over the years, being in this business that I'm in, I deal with so many people who've lost family members to, to, to cancer many times and, and, and they come in here and, and I'm forever telling them to be strong and you've got to do this and you've got to do that and, and help them along, you know, to, to, to get through the ordeal. And I have to be honest, when I, when I was first told and uh, I came back to my daughters and we all met at the house and, and uh, it was it was like I was somebody had hit me with a, a ten ton bloody boulder, you know, it completely floored me. And it took me a few days to, to, to accept, you know. Everybody thinks that they're different and they're invincible, but we're not. We're all we're all susceptible to many things, you know. And um, the the thing about it is now I, I, I could I could sit down and I could feel sorry for myself and 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 just you know fizzle away if you like, but I'm not going to. Uh, I've had good vibes off and, and and good comment off the off the consultants and from the tests, and uh, I intend to give it a right good go. And 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 you know, um, I want there's plenty more in me, and there's plenty of things I want to do yet over the next few years. You know, so so that that's the way I'm I'm trying to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, well, absolutely. And look, at you will get through this because, as you mentioned earlier on, so many people have sent you mass cards, so many people are praying for you. You've done so many good things yourself in raising money for charities, for the hospice, for all sorts of good causes. So we're all behind you, aren't I? I appreciate that, Martin. I do. I mean, you've been, you've been a good friend to me, you and Annette, and, and your support's been super over the years and doing this now you know I mean it's helping me but I'm hoping that somebody out there who who might need support in the future you know you've got to get a grip of it you've got it you've got to grab it by the throat and say look I'm in control here not you type of thing and and that's that's the way I've always I've always tried to be you see but uh, no I, I really appreciate y yourselves and the way you've stuck at that Irish TV in the UK I mean you've you've stuck at it and it's and it's a lovely part of the uh, the heritage over here it really it really is I alone the prison wall I heard a young girl calling Michael they have taken you away or you stole Trevelyan's car so the young might see the mark Now a prison ship lies waiting to bay We 
We wish Ernie a very speedy recovery. He has done so much good work fundraising for so many good causes. Now is the time for us all to support him and keep him in our prayers. Now we're off to meet Andrew Howard from Booth and Howard store in Burnage, Manchester, who specialise in selling Irish produce. People travel from near and far to shop at the store. I'm a savage for bacon and cabbage. Some call it bubble and squeak. My tummy starts aching when I see the bacon. With the smell of the cabbage, I'm weak. If you're Irish, then next to white pudding. Whether you're big or you're small, you'll always go for the bacon and cabbage. Cause that is the best feed of all. When we were young, on a Sunday for dinner, the mammy would stand by the pot, cooking the bacon along with the cabbage and serving them up nice and hot. Me father would cut up the bacon, then throw down a bit to the cat. There would be a big scene as we fought for the lean, but I always wound up with the fat. Oh, I'm a savage for bacon and cabbage Some call it bubble and squeak My tummy starts aching when I see the bacon With the smell of the cabbage I'm weak If you're Irish then next to white pudding Beath and Howarth was established in 1932 So we're pushing 90 years now Martin Yep, so a while Wow, and uh, of course tell me about your family involvement Yes, it was started by my late grandfather and his business partner in 1932. It was then took over by my dad and his brother. Um, they were the second generation and now it's into the third generation, which is myself, I'm John's son and David McDermott, who's my business partner at the moment. My goodness, it's great to see a family business doing so well all those years. Yeah, no, we're very proud. We've always been very proud of the st store and uh, hopefully we'll continue to be in the future. And you've done a great job in running the store, of course, over the years. And I believe you've just done a lovely new refurbishment. We have. We've just done a huge, extensive refurbishment in store. and um, We've spent an awful lot of money modernising the shop. Um, so hopefully we can keep going a good few years uh, longer yet. And of course, Andrew, you've got a huge Irish contingent of customers here. Uh, tell me a little bit about the products that you sell. Yeah, we sell, Martin, around about 150 Irish products now. Uh, an extensive range of soft drinks, Club, Club Orange and Nash's Red Lemonade, etc. We do a full range of Erin soups, Barry's tea bags, Tato crisps, uh, Irish Cadbury's chocolates, an extensive range of Irish cakes. We just signed a new contract with Irwin's Bakery, so they're on board with us now. Um, so it's, it's growing rapidly by the day. Yeah, and I know that you've got a, a huge amount of Club Orange in there, and I've got to taste one of them after. We do, we've just so your customers don't need to panic, we're getting plenty of stock through. We've just had seven or eight pallets of soft drinks through. So if any of your customers would like some deals on Club Orange or Miwadi Cordials over the summer, pop in and ask speak to Andrew or David and we'll see if we can look after you with a case on a special price. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, we do an extensive range of Irish biscuits, Boland's Kimberley, Jam Mallows, Chocolate Kimberley. Uh, and that's growing as well by the day. So. Tell me a little bit about your dairy products. Yeah, we do quite an extensive range of dairy products now. We specialise in Clonakilty sausages. We have a contract with Kelly's Butchers in County Mayo with Sean Kelly, who ships to us every month with fresh sausages, black and white puddings. We've now launched chorizo and hazlet puddings, which are very popular. Uh, we do Clonakilty ring puddings, a uh, wide range of Irish bacon, Cookstown and Clonakilty. We've also just launched some Cookstown sausages now in store so we're continuing to grow and also Irish potatoes um, at the moment it's the uh, Irish pinks that are in stock at the moment we usually do golden wonder as well but that'll be back uh, they're out of season at the moment but that's something we always also stock my goodness you cover a wide range and I must mention I just spotted in there as well you've got a lot of the Irish papers here we do we sell around about 30 40 county newspapers uh, they come in on every Saturday um, so if there's any titles that you'd like reserving weekly, come and have a chat with Andrew or David and we'll see what we can do for you. We also sell the Irish Post and the Irish World that's available every Wednesday. 
So, yeah. The, the... You, you cover a wide range. Now, uh, tell me, Andrew, how has Brexit affected you? Because, you know, it's been a big problem over the last 12 months. It's been a huge problem. Um, I'm sure lots of your viewers are very concerned by the impact it's had on trade. Fortunately, we've spent a lot of work doing uh, large paperwork contracts, which have meant that our business has been largely unaffected. The only thing I do need to let your customers aware is that Galti cheese and Galti black and white puddings are unavailable in the UK permanently now since Brexit. So sadly, that's had a huge detrimental effect. Um, and also, um, Connaught Gold Butter. I am trying to resolve that at the moment and looking into uh, seeing if we can get that shipped over in the next couple of months. But certainly Galti aren't revoking the decision and they're going to review it in October. So we won't know any more till then. So that's the only thing your customers need to know that they can't get. Tell me about your click and collect service. Um, yeah, there's a parcel collection uh, outside now. So basically when we've had the refurbishment, we've also got a uh, cost of coffee. So we're trying to modernise Martin and stay up with the times and, yeah. you know, keep the shop refreshed, really. You'll always go for the bacon and cabbage Cos that is the best speed of all When I'd be heading to somebody's wedding A few pints, the first thing I need then when I may... It's great to see a family business doing so well and Booth and Howard provide a wonderful service to the community. Now that brings us to the end of the show for this week. Henry McGlade is back with us next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock with his show from County Mayo and we are here at half past 7 with the Irish in the UK. Until then, take good care.